السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The virtues of remembering Allah سبحانه وتعالى Allah the Almighty has said فذكروني أذكركم واشكروا لي ولا تأخرون So remember me I remember you and be grateful to me and do not deny me And he said يا أيها الذين آمنوا ذكروا الله ذكرا كثيرا O you who have believed, remember Allah with much remembrance. And he said, وَالذَّاكِرِينَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرٌ وَالذَّاكِرَاتِ أَعَدَّ اللَّهُ لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةً وَعَجَرًا عَظِيمًا And the men and who remember Allah often, the women who do so, for them Allah has prepared forgiveness and a great reward. And he said, وَذُقُرْ رَبَّكَ في نفسك تزرع وخيفة ودون الجحر من القون بالغضب والعصال ولا تكم من الغافلين and remember your Lord within yourself in humility and in fear without being apparent in speech in the mornings and the evenings and do not be among the heedless Abu Musa al-Ash'ari رضي الله عنه narrated that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the example of the one who remembers his Lord Allah in comparison to the one who does not remember his Lord is that of a living creature compared to a dead one. Abu Darda radiallahu anhu narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said should I not inform you of the best of your deeds and the purest of them with your master and the highest of them in rank what is better for you than spending gold and silver in charity and better for you than meeting your enemy and striking their necks and they're striking yours they said of course the Rasulullah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the remembrance of Allah most high Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Allah says I am just as my slave think I am I am able to do for him what he thinks I can do for him and I am with him if he remembers me. If he remembers me in himself, I too remember him in myself. And if he remembers me in a group of people, I remember him in a group that is better than they. And if he comes one span nearer to me, I go one cubit nearer to him. And if he comes one cubit nearer to him, nearer to me, I go a distance of two outstretched arms nearer to him. And if he comes to me walking, I go to him running. Abdullah bin Bas radiallahu anhu narrated that a man said, O messenger, uh, messenger of Allah, indeed, the legislated acts of Islam have become too much for me. So inform me of a thing that I should stick to. He said, Let not your tongue cease to be moist with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu anhu narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever recites a letter from Allah's book then he receives the reward from it and the reward of ten the like of it I do not say that alif lam mim is a letter but alif is a letter lam is a letter and mim is a letter Uqba bin Amir radiallahu anhu narrated when we were in Suffa the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came out and said which of you would like to go out every morning to Budhan or Al-Aqiq and bring two large she-camels without being guilty of sin or without severing the ties of kinship? We said, Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we would like to do it. Upon this, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, does not one of you go out in the morning to the mosque and teach or recite two verses from the book of Allah, the majestic and glorious that is better for him than two she-camels and three verses are better than three she-camels and four verses are better for him than four she-camels and any number of verses are better than that number of she-camels Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said if anyone sits at a place where he does remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deprivation will descend on him from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if he lies at a place where he does not remember Allah, deprivation will descend on him from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, No group gather in a sitting in which they do not remember Allah 
nor send salat upon their prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam except it will be a source of remorse for them if he wills he will punish them and if he wills he will forgive them abu huraira radhiyallahu ta'ala who narrated that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said people who get up from an assembly in which they did not remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be just as if they had got up from an ass corpse and it will be a cause of grief for them